c'est glauque ce truc. C'était du vrai sang Non, c'était du faux sang. Mais ça s'est réellement passé comme dans le film. Les militants d'Act Up avaient déboulé dans le centre de transfusion sanguine. Et le directeur scientifique était lui aussi impliqué dans l'affaire du sang contaminé. Ouais, papy, tu m'as déjà raconté. Ça a été un énorme scandale politique. On avait transfusé du sang contaminé avec le virus du sida à des milliers d'hémophiles. Le procès a bien eu lieu, mais des années plus tard. Il s'est passé le même genre de truc en 2020 avec le Covid. Her Last Farewell was a great short film, a really sad love story that was just heartbreaking. Um, well written, I really enjoyed it, and I thought the acting was brilliant, especially by that female lead. She was just so good and she was a joy to watch. I love how the main story was framed with those two scenes of the male character in the future. It really emphasized how short his lover's life had been cut. Um, so I like that. I do think that the sex scene was just like a little bit too long. I felt like it could have been shortened and we wouldn't have lost any of the emotion or any of the narrative. Um, but otherwise, I really enjoyed watching this one. I thought this story was really well told. I really liked how they kind of linked how the past couple of years and this pandemic could have brought up other memories for people and linked it to like the AIDS epidemic and how people felt who were alive during that time and really experiencing it firsthand. Um, it makes a lot of sense that it would have triggered memories. So I really liked that they kind of used current situations to bring about the story um, because that felt very natural and felt very like real. Um, and the story itself was really moving and really beautiful and him coming back at the very, very end and actually continuing to tell it to his granddaughter of like, she didn't infect me and, you know, kind of how he felt with her final goodbye and how, you know, he said that, you know, a part of him died that day or something along those lines. That was really beautiful. I thought the story was really well told. I thought the context was really, really on point with it being um kind of there and you saw from the beginning to the very end how much the the granddaughter really just like put her phone away and was like just really wanting to hear the story and really present um i thought it was really well done overall the last farewell was like pixar level emotions um you had me invested in a short amount of time all the way through to the end um those actors were great and it was really, it was a really heartfelt story. And um, I may or may not have been crying at the end. So that, that, you know, that, that's a testament to good storytelling, good writing and good directing. So good job. The performances were breathtaking and you can totally see why he has fallen for her. She is so soulful. The scenes are raw and passionate and the lesions makeup was very convincing. And the soundtrack near the end was truly moving. Excellent writing too. Well done film. Watching her last farewell, I thought it was an interesting choice for the filmmaker to frame and look back on the HIV and AIDS epidemic through the context of the present and the pandemic that we're currently experiencing. I think that the film was so successful because of how high the stakes are in the interaction between Max and Sonia. They it's evident immediately that they have a lot of unresolved sexual and emotional tension and adding on top of that the news of her HIV positive status or possibly positive AIDS status, it just adds that much more pressure to this moment of them having a limited or feeling like they have a limited chance to express some of that emotion and so i think that made for a very compelling film it has a weird weird odd little prologue and epilogue little bookends that i think are completely unnecessary he's suddenly he remembers this uh, they just feel pasted on very artificial but the actual this is scene basically you know 10 minutes of scene uh with this woman who's dying of aids and this guy and and then there's this like long sex scene and it's pretty intense and 
Um, you kind of wonder if uh, <laughs> we're really doing it. Um, but that part of it was, you know, intense and weird, and the actors were very good. She was very good. You know, she was about to die. Um, but the bookends just completely threw me. It's not a good way to start and end this film. This is an interesting approach to saying goodbye and the feelings you have or might experience during the acknowledgement of imminent death, uh, perhaps due to illness or some other causes, where this script is specifically very sensitive, sensible, it is quite realistic as well. And I think it was just a very original approach. It was made with love and it, I really enjoyed it. Thank you.